Welcome to episode 26 of Lost Signals. My name is Daryl. I'm JD. So what, I'm going to jump, jump on you. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. It's just we. No, we, no. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. No, what's going on? No. Hey, how's yeah. the weather? Nothing. We, we were just having a conversation for like 20 minutes. Like it's, it's weird for me to transition back into that. I know, but you and I were having a conversation for 20 minutes. Not <sighs> not it, not with all with these wonderful people. Yes, exactly. Exactly. But I want to jump right into this because it's fresh in, in, in my head. And it's something we were just like, it just popped in my head. Okay. So, and it all goes back to, to old Trumpy again. But there's a group of people in Dallas, Texas right now that are waiting for JFK Jr. to come back to life. Is that still happening? There, it's been two weeks. They've been waiting on some bridge, or like right where JFK Sr. got shot. And they're fucking waiting for him to come back to life. And, and then JFK himself come back and, you know, lead us or lead the U.S. back into greatness. Those people exist. Like, they really exist. They're like, they're real people. Well, I'm, oh God. I honestly thought this was a flash in the pan thing. Like, I honestly thought that the Q conspirators and all that stuff, like they showed up and everyone had a great laugh and whatever. And I do know that there was someone who lived in Texas who was like, yeah, you know, you know what? my house is not that far away from here. Let's just make it like a grand central for this, this following or whatever. Like I've, I've heard of people who have held visuals, visuals uh, for Elvis Presley or James Dean <laughs> or Amy Winehouse in, in the hopes that by some miracle that the, the, these people will come back to life. This this is what this, the fuck? This is fucking crazy, man. Like, like who in their right mind, like thinks that that could actually happen? Like, oh my God. Just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Like these people are crazy and like good on them for, you know, <laughs> sticking to their guns and, you know, in their beliefs, but holy fuck are these beliefs wrong? <laughs> Holy smokes. Just, just, wow. Like, two weeks. Like, come on, guys. Figure your shit out. Okay, so adding adding to that, like, of the mindset, like, both you and I live in the Great White North. You live in Saskatchewan. I live in British Columbia. Like, yes. It's it's currently snowing. It's been snowing all morning um, here in Prince George. And it's cold as fuck here. Like, like yeah, minus but, 15 or something. So, But, but like... Yeah, I have to take myself out of that scenario, out of that mindset, because like it, this is talk, we're talking Texas here, so it's like it's 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 reasonable weather. It's not like there's gonna be a whole heck of a lot of hardship there, yeah. and yeah, yeah. So it it would be it'd be a lot more impressive if they were dealing with the weather you and I are dealing with right now. <laughs> it, it wouldn't happen. No, no, God, no, no. Like, this like, is a this is a two week long vacation for them with fresh air and and the hopes yeah. of. The well, reanimation of... But what are these people someone? doing for money? Like, you can't just go and do that sort go of... Go fund me. Go fuck yourself. Go fund me. <laughs> go fund me has been the primary source of the crazy <sighs> for, for the longest time. You're talking about people who have died due to COVID-19. Their family go out and do a go fund me to try to help, you know, with the... Uh, the funeral services and help with their family and stuff like that. Yeah. Like the, the QAnons and the anti-vaxxers and, and all these people, like they all have leaned towards GoFundMe. I'm not saying GoFundMe is the primary source of all the crazy. I'm just saying that this is where the crazy end up. That's it's like Denny's. You don't go to Denny's. You end up at Denny's. <laughs> That's how true is that? <laughs> how many fucking drunk nights I've ended up at a Denny's ordering a fucking moons over my hammy or whatever. Exactly. 3.30 <laughs> in the morning. Exactly. Drunk. Just. Drunk. I. Wow. I I had no idea that that was going on. And and clearly, like, that's how important it is to the world where it's kind of like, oh, yeah, by the way, this is still happening. Yeah. And this goes hand in hand with another thing we were talking about before the show is uh, the, the new Kid Rock single. Oh yeah. And, um, so you sent me a message of this last night, and yeah. I was like, "Not gonna touch it. I, I want. I want to be. I am a virgin to this scenario." Like, do you know the Canadian band Monster Truck? Yes, I do. They're involved in this song. Okay. It's you know what, and it's it's very cringy 
is the best way to put this video. Like I'm not, I'm not even going to link it here. You want to watch this piece of trash, go watch it on YouTube or something. But I am not, <laughs> I am not giving that dude any traffic. It is bad. Like if you thought Kid Rock was like Kid Rock in the nineties and early two thousands was. He was on fire. It was, it was passable in my opinion. Yeah. But now this is just holy fuck. It's garbage. Just garbage. Okay. Just a hot fucking dumpster fire of fucking, you know, like bush light cans and fucking Copenhagen just all over the place. Just... <laughs> all right. So what the hell's going on here? I don't know. It's just fucking weird. Like, um, like I, I don't, if I would have been set up, I could have put it on to, on the stream, but it's just Kid Rock pretty much remixed monster trucks. Don't tell me how to live okay. and, and started rapping over it. Okay. And it's like, and it's pretty much like an anti mask, anti vax song. Kind of. From Kid, Kid Rock. From Kid Rock. Maybe, I mean, like, maybe, maybe not that far, but it's like there's a definite leaning there of something. Well, that's not surprising considering that uh, Kid Rock did a concert uh, at a an event around Sturges or in Sturges or something like that. At and Sturges, probably. At Sturges. Yep. And, like, it, there was, like, no protocols whatsoever. It turned into a super spreader event. Like, yeah, that was he, yeah, he, straight up uh, just Sturgis at the at the motorcycle rally. Yeah, he's he, the Kid Rock's been like showing his his colors for quite some time. Um, he's like anti LGBT LGBTQ uh, unless we're talking lesbians. <laughs> like that's just that's just who Kid Rock is. Yeah, and um, yeah, he's been like hardcore in Trump's pocket for quite some time, yeah. and blah blah blah. So, I mean, this is this is kind of like what, just watching something come to light, like finally out of the shadows. Like, oh, okay, the more he talks, the more we realize you're an idiot. He is an idiot. But the fact yeah. that like Monster Truck and a band that I actually liked at one point was Ooh. in like getting involved in in like bands that get into political discussions, you know, like vocally and do it this way. I'm not a fan of music no. and politics in my, in my opinion, do not go together for it. Okay. It, it, it depends on what, what, what spectrum of the politics we're talking about here. Yeah. If it's for the betterment of, of man, if it's for the betterment of human rights, if it's for the betterment of, of the planet, of the environment, stuff like that. And like, yeah, that is political, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like that is, that is for something that is, universally you would hope beneficial um if we're talking straight uh conservative versus republican or democrat or whatever yeah you, you're getting a little too narrow you're getting a, into yeah, a yeah. finite category here and so yeah. that's when you are drawing hard lines and then you're going to get pushback yeah that, that that reminds me of another video that's very right wing leaning that I saw on uh, on Reddit this morning. Mm. It's something about like all I want for Christmas is my president back. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's been a year, bud. Like Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's um, it's literally been a year. So uh, like, before, be before before we move on, um what was Monster Truck's involvement in this thing? Like they're actually like they're on the song and they're in the video. Okay, so they're it's Kid Rock and Monster Truck together. Featuring, I thought it was yeah. Kid Rock versus Monster no, Truck. No, 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 no. They're they're involved in the song, which is weird because Monster Truck's a Canadian band. Why would they get involved in that? There must there must have been some money involved there or something. Or maybe no, it's... no, no. There there are protests and and rallies and whatnot in Canada, and yeah. they for whatever reason seem to think that. Uh, Donald Jackass Trump is their messiah or their leader or whatever. And it's just like those protesters that showed up outside my radio station. Oh yeah. At, at when, when they were running out of gas, they started talking about how Trump had the election stolen from him. <laughs> whatever. Okay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you realize, fucking... you realize how stupid you're just in. Continue. <laughs> how stupid you're just in. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was a great <laughs> sentence. I'm just going to say that right there. <laughs> So another so, thing that pissed me off this week. Oh yeah, please. That, 
Well, it's yeah. actually about two weeks ago. Mm. Rockstar Games released the definitive edition for Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Right. I paid $90 for this fucking game. Nine pre ordered. I pre ordered it and I fucked up and I will never do it again. But, okay, so the day it released, it released at like yeah. 10 o'clock on a Tuesday or whatever the fuck it was. I installed, I was going to play them in order. I was going to play three and then Vice City and then, then it's San, San Andreas, Andreas and whatever. Yes. So I installed three and I started playing it. I'm like, this, it looks really good, you know? Like, I had a controller plugged in because, you know, like, that's how I played those games back in the day. It's like, you need to play yeah. that on a controller. Yes. There was no controller support for it. At all. <laughs> and it, it's the same port of the game that was on, like, the Xbox and PlayStation and, and Nintendo Switch. And those all obviously have controllers. <laughs> you weren't obviously. busting out a keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. So, I figured out a workaround to get a controller to work. You have to launch the Rockstar launcher through Steam. It's a huge pain in the ass. Not, it's not a pain in the ass, but it's just dumb. But then it'll recognize the controller. It, it's a workaround. I'll, we'll talk about it later. But okay. um, I'm just so, trying to work my head around that. You can add. add yeah, we'll, t we'll talk about it later. Because okay. um, <laughs> I, I don't want to get into the explanation of it. There is a way. But, fine. Um, fine. So then I'm starting to play the game. And, it, you know, it looks good. It looks better than what it did, you know. Yeah. It's not a, it's not leaps and bounds better. I mean, the control scheme is better. It's closer to Grand Theft Auto Five. You can do some of the same stuff, like. Um, but then it started raining in the game. Raining, raining. I mean, like, like weather. You know, like yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The weather yeah. outside is weather. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and I couldn't see. It looked like shards of glass falling from, from the ground or from the sky. Holy! Like it was so badly done. Like when you're when you're done this, like go and there's YouTube videos of it. Of yeah. How bad like this rain looks? It's 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 horrendous. Like it's disgustingly bad. So, that's fine. Whatever you know. Like I got through that. I figured you know what? Maybe it's just on three because I only saw it on three. And whatever, I had to go to bed because I had to work the next day or right, what, right, what, right. whatever. I get up the next morning, I was making coffee, and I was like, I wasn't going to play, but I just, I glanced at my computer because I was to sit down to my computer before I leave for work and, you know, check emails or Reddit, whatever. Yeah. And I'm looking at, the Rockstar launcher was open already, and I'm like, where the fuck are my games? <laughs> <Yeah>, what? <laughs> so... They pushed an update, which uninstalled. Well, it didn't uninstall the games, but it made the games unplayable. Like, it actually removed it from the Rockstar store or the Rockstar launcher. So, oh all three of those games were gone. I'm like, what the fuck? And I checked, you know, I checked online. I couldn't really see anything right away because it happened, like, just recently. Right. And so, <laughs> Rockstar pulled the games, all three of them, because there was stuff in the games that wasn't supposed to be there. Like, um, the hot coffee stuff from San Andreas was still in there. There was a bunch Are you serious? Yeah. There was a bunch of songs on, uh, on San Andreas and Vice City that they didn't own the rights to anymore. That they couldn't, um, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't use those songs anymore. So, those songs were all in there. So, it's like they did a direct port, but didn't remove the stuff that they were supposed to. So it was off of the store and unplayable for like two days or some shit like that. And um, fought, like it got reinstalled over the weekend. And I actually, like, I, I, I checked it to make sure it worked. But I haven't played it since. I got mad. I got fucking that mad that I'm not playing those fucking games. I, I, I'm i sorry. Like I've been looking at my video game collection because I know that I have grand theft auto san andreas uh for the playstation 2 yeah and it's the version that has the hot coffee yeah uh it, it, well i mean you have to go through a route to make that happen yeah, yeah. but anyway like you would think <laughs> like you would think that because of licensing issue with songs that they, this is something that was brought up a little while ago as well as all the controversy but with the hot coffee hack like, yeah, that would be fucking first and foremost on their checklist of like, OK, so we are re-releasing this as a definitive edition. Probably fix this part. 
You would think that, but it seems like Rockstar has been really shitty lately with a lot of things. Like even last night, like we were we played Grand Theft Auto Five for a little bit last night. And yeah. like in in our other chat, it's like I'm I'm still pissed at Rockstar. <laughs> like I just I don't I How do you go from having a game like Red Dead Redemption Two to yes. this steaming pile of shit? <laughs> <laughs> You know, cash like, in like, is, the re is your answer. They were trying to cash in. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's, it's mind blowing. That's what that is. It's like, I don't, I don't fucking get it. That is so. So. And, oh, and, and the, the worst part about it is I was going to ask for a refund, but since I had pre-ordered it and it was more than 14 days, wasn't eligible. So, no. I mean, I've spent $90 on stupider things. Fair enough. Like way stupider things. So, but there was there yeah. was no direct controller support. You have to launch through a secondary to get the controller support. Yep. It removed itself from your computer because oh, we forgot to remove things that were an issue either with licensing or controversy in the past, and now you're stuck with these games, which are just essentially reskins because i've been i've been watching yeah. videos yeah. of of uh of other people doing missions in uh grand theft auto 3 vice city and san andreas there are no audio fixes whatsoever like it's not like the audio was a, an issue before but i would have hoped that there would have been some upgrades maybe but like okay so like some of the things that they did add in mm -hmm. in well from what i played a three anyways yeah. um they added the GTA five style weapon wheel and okay, the, yeah. like when you get into a vehicle for like the radio stations, yeah, th that that's similar, <clears throat> but it looks like shit, you know, like again, like if they, if they knew, <clears throat> <laughs> breathe, mm. breathe, just, just, <laughs> yeah. it's just, it just, it's mind blowing that, that, yeah. that, that they let it fucking fall this far. But you're right. You're right, though. Like, how did they go from Grand Theft Auto five, Grand Theft Auto five online? Yeah. Red Dead Redemption two. Well, even Red to, Dead one, you know, like, well, I'm just going yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in uh, chronological order Yeah. Um, to this where it's just, oh, oops, we forgot. Oh, oops, we didn't change this. Oh, oops, we we needed to remove this. Oh, yeah. You want to play with controller? <laughs> Sorry. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy <clears throat> Christ. So have you played any Vice City or San Andreas? I played about three minutes of Vice City the other day. Mm -hmm. And I'm the driving's better. You know, like driving back on like the old PlayStation day, like you had to hit X to, to for your gas and square is the brake or whatever. Now, yeah, it's, yeah, now yeah. it's the triggers, which makes more sense. Yes. But... With the rain and shit, it's just, it pisses me off, right? Like, it's just, it, the controls feel better, but they still feel clunky, if that makes sense. Yeah. So. Do you think they will ever uh, do a definitive edition, as well as some fixes, much needed fixes, to Grand Theft Auto 4? I fucking hope so. But after this fiasco, I don't know if I trust them to do it. Well, yeah. as it stands now, go ahead. No, like, and it, it wasn't, um, technically it wasn't Rockstar or Take Two that did this. They, they, they created another company called Grove Street Games, which apparently did the mobile versions of Vice City 3 and San Andreas. Okay. So this is almost like a mobile version, like mobile phone version of these games that they ported to PlayStation and PC. So that being said, I don't trust them to redo Grand Theft Auto 4. I don't. I just, because, I, I just don't think they would work. Well, as, as it stands, Grand Theft Auto 6 yeah. is currently under its second restructure. And they had developmental hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had something in the works and then they restructured it. Now they're restructuring it again. Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently, there's like a lack of communication within the studio. Well, as for Grand Theft Auto 4, yes. Well, whoever the, the CEO was. <laughs> Or, you know, the, the lead developer during GTA 5 and Red Dead 2's development time, 
that guy left and took a lot of people with him. That's the way I, that's what I'm understanding. That's what I've read anyway. So like you lose your creative department and well, what are you left with? You're left with some chugs in the back that are trying to put some code together. Sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> you're, you're left with the equivalent of a WWE 2K20. <laughs> you had a bunch of fucking window lickers that don't know how to do anything. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so Grand Theft Auto 4, never mind the fact the hell with Nico Bellic, the most unliked character that has ever come out of the Grand Theft Auto universe. The story, like, there was no zero attachment to it whatsoever. No, no but, none. But the the driving and the controls and whatnot were, like, the cars were skating on ice and half full of helium. Yeah. <laughs> you could not control them whatsoever. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they would even bother touching Grand Theft Auto 4. And if they did, is it going to be a reskin, which is basically what the Definitive yeah. Edition is, or are there actually going to be fixes? I think if they're going to do it, well, they shouldn't, personally. Um, but if you are if you want to play it on PC, there's a ton of mods out there that improve the driving, that improve the graphics and everything. So, I mean, if you want to go that route. But for Rockstar to do it, they should just focus on making six and hopefully that they make it good enough that people will forget this shit because people aren't going to forget it. Like it's already like it's already on lists of like the worst game releases of all time. Like it's and just, that's, 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 that's a list that includes um, like fallout 76, uh, yeah. no man's sky anthem. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Marvel's Avengers. I, I played that. I had it for free on Game Pass. It was, yeah. it was bad. Oh, it was bad. It that, is a money pit grind fest. I know yeah. that much. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think uh, Gerard, the completionist, uh, did. Uh, this is before a whole bunch of DLCs have come out. Uh, he went through and he he bought everything. Like, he paid out of pocket everything to get all the unlocks and, and all the achievements and all yep. that stuff. And it cost him like nearly a grand. Holy fuck. Yeah. I just, I, I could be, I could be wrong, but at the same time, like th this wasn't a free game to begin with. No, you know? like the, the, uh, the Avengers one. Yeah. That was like, I think to buy it, like if you bought the definitive ed edition or whatever, like the ultimate edition, whatever you want to fucking call it, it was like 129 bucks Canadian. Yeah. So like, like a hundred bucks us, like it's just, you, you there's a lot there's, full pop for a service game is stupid. Yeah, there's a lot of gouging, and I don't like it. I don't yeah. like it at all. It's just I miss the days where you know you bought a finished game. Yes, you, you know, and <laughs> yeah. like you know, you, when you went and bought a, a Super Nintendo game back in the the '90s, there were no updates for this shit. No, because it wasn't no. possible. No, all yeah. these games here, all these games here are finished games. All these games on my on my bookshelf behind me. They're uh, all finished games. I don't know. Tony Hawk's Underground there. I don't know if that was 100% finished. There's some big glitches in that game. I can see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Glitches, fine, but there was no yeah. DLC. No, no, right? none none whatsoever. Yeah. But the, all these all these games here, like, you, you got them, that was it. Right? Well, some of, like, some of, like, on your bottom shelf, like the Xbox or the Xbox 360s, those games did have some updates here and there but not like they they weren't shipping out unfinished games okay okay yeah. so okay just just looking oh, hold yeah. on yeah <clears throat> mass effect 2 yeah and mass effect 3 both yeah. of them did have dlcs yes and they were for extra characters extra content and all that stuff but still i mean still finished games yes and I, I just read that they're releasing the Mass Effect series on Game Pass. Re remastered? I um, really? I think so. Oh. I thought I read something about that. I read that there is a Mass Effect series in production for Prime Video. Interesting. I don't know if it's going to be animated. I don't know if it's going to be live action, but I know that fucking take my money. <laughs> I would love to see that. I, I've never played those games. None of them. Really? Not, none of them. Yeah. I just, 
I, I, you, I've heard nothing but good things about him. It's just that yeah. it was one of those things that I just never got into. Yeah. So I've never, like, I, I, there was a point in time where I never played any Mass Effect. I, I heard Mass Effect, the first video game, the first of the series, and I just, I wasn't interested at all. Yeah. And perhaps it was just shitty marketing, whatever the case may be, but what, whatever. Then there was a, a series, not a series, a service that came out. This is way before uh, Xbox Game Pass, PlayStation Now, anything like that. And it was the first time that I experienced the service of game streaming. Now, I don't mean like streaming out to Twitch or anything like that. Yeah. It's playing a game that's not downloaded onto your computer. You're instead, you're, you're playing off of a server. Yeah. And the example that they had to try to sell people on this idea was the first two opening missions of Mass Effect 2. Yeah. And I took away from that two things. One, this online streaming service, uh, game service, is incredible. Yeah. And two, I wanted to play more Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Because, because like, there was no lag. Uh, it, was, it was high quality. And I was just entranced in these characters. Huh. So... I tried some of that game streaming stuff on my PlayStation 3 at one point. Yeah. And I think I I think I think tried, or maybe it's my PlayStation 4, it doesn't matter. But I tried playing, I think, Red Dead, like the first Red Dead, and I did, was okay. not having a good time. Mind you, I had a really shitty internet connection at the time. Ah, that was, that okay. was probably it. Yeah. But uh, kind of, no, this is going to be a weird segue, but I need to, I need to talk about this because I need to, I need to finish this. So sure. I'm rereading the Dark Tower series. Um, and it's fucking with my head. Oh, like I can't get into too much because I mean, even if I tried to explain it to you, you wouldn't understand because it's really messed up. Yeah. But first of all, don't watch the movie. Don't watch the fucking movie. <laughs> like the worst fucking. <laughs> ah. yeah. Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba, both incredible actors. Don't watch the movie. Yeah. They, they, it, it's a bastardization. Of what it, they tried to take like a 35 or 3700 page series and put it into an hour and a half movie and we've i think we've talked about this before. yeah yeah we've, we've talked about this it's like uh avatar the last airbender yeah. the live action movie by uh m night shaman <laughs> uh, how they yeah. try to take two chapters and then that's like a lot of episodes from the animated series and cram it into one book yeah. and even still they got a lot of shit wrong yeah um anyway so i'm about halfway through the seventh and final book right and if i don't finish it soon like it's actually it's putting me in a bad mood because i'm not because of just how the book happens and let's this is not my first time reading this this is like the third or fourth time that i've read though in the entire series and i think every time i've read it i get in it like i get in a a bad mood in the seventh book (laughs) So I try and finish it as fast as I can, but it's like 1,200 pages long, and I'm like 600 pages in. I read like 300 pages at work yesterday, but it's like, I got to finish it. Yeah. Got I got it. It's And then start it again, probably, because I'm stupid like that. But anyway. The Dark Tower is on my uh, on my to-do list. So If you were going to do it right, yes. there's a whole list of books that are connected to the Dark Tower. Like... Pretty much every Stephen King book is connected to the Dark Tower. Well, I can't do that. Oh, yeah, you could. No. <laughs> you could. We've been over this. Yeah. <laughs> just, just get it on Audible. Get it for free and just listen to it. Like when you're at the gym, just put put an audiobook on. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I could, I suppose. It is a big undertaking, though. Like, I've read most of the, like, the Stephen King stuff just by accident over the years. Right. Um, I mean, like, I, I've read it like 17 times. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read that. Why not? You know why? <laughs> why not? It's not that scary. Doesn't matter. It's not scary. It doesn't it's, fucking matter. I mean, okay. Let me rephrase that. It's not scary to me. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, so Serious, seriously, I'm one bad nightmare away from having a nightlight in my room again. Okay, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> So you, you don't want to talk about giant spiders and clowns with, you know, red balloons and shit like that? I'm aware of the movie. That's all I need to know. You, you never <laughs> even it. watched that movie? Like no. those movies? Wow. 
No, not the first one, not the, the, the two subsequent ones. No, nothing. You never watched the miniseries? No. With Tim Curry in it? Oh, man. I am aware, and no. Uh, How is this even a fucking point uh, of conversation? I don't know. We've gone over this. I, I can't do it. I was trying to segue into something else, and you started going on a rant. So. All right, fine. Well, fucking segue. What did you find on your, on your porch the other day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get this cryptic message. He's like, Dude, check this out. He sent me a picture. Like, what the? F All right, weird. so it was uh, it was Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. I was at the gym, and um, it was it was a late night. So I I was like I was leaving the gym at seven p.m. I got home. I live in an apartment building, and I don't my apartment where my apartment is in the building. It's faster and easier for me to go to the back door of the building than it is to the main door. Yeah. So anyway, seven o'clock, I'm coming home. I park my vehicle and I, I've lived here long enough to know that there's a lot of vehicles that I recognize, people that I recognize, my neighbors mm -hmm. and whatnot. And then there's this strange vehicle with the person I don't recognize pulling out and kind of looking a little confused. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I don't think anything of it until I get to the door to enter my building. Yeah. And there on the ground is a medium pizza. Oh and a box of wings and mm -hmm. a bag uh on the bag is a skip the dishes yeah uh, tag on it right? yeah so the vehicle in question drives away and immediately i put two and two together that this was a skip the dishes order i'm pointing at the pizza yeah and then uh, that driver was a skip the dishes driver yeah but then i stop I, like i'm standing there i'm looking at the pizza and i look the driver's driving away and there's no one coming to the door. So I'm like, what? I mean, someone's got to know, right? Because I yeah. have skipped the dishes on my phone. And I know that whenever I order something, it, it shows me, like, your, your driver's on the way. You can your track your there. driver, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so whatever. I don't, I don't think anything of it. Yeah. I come upstairs. It's, it, keep in mind, uh, and this is for future reference, it is below freezing outside. Yes, so I, I come upstairs to my place and I put away my gym stuff and I, I have something for uh, after the gym, I have dinner. And yep. then I head out to go to my car to go grab something. This is an hour and a half later. And the pizza and the wings and the bag is still there. <laughs> yeah, usually by those rules that um, automatically becomes yours. Yeah, so I, I was like, fuck it. So I yeah. go out to my car, I grab what I, I do, and then I come back and, yeah, I grab the pizza and the wings, and, and it turns out it's a it's a bag of like a half a dozen dippers. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, nice. Fuck it. Upstairs, up I go. So I bring it upstairs and barbecue wings, a, uh, mm. a cheese feta pizza with banana peppers. Oh. Nothing else on it. And, Weird. yeah, like a half a dozen dippers. So that was my lunch for <laughs> the next day at yeah. the radio station. Well, that's fair. I mean, you know, somebody would have known or should have known, like an like hour and a half outside, especially like in a Canadian winter. Well, it's, yeah, no, that, that that's their own fault. Yeah. I mean, it, it would have been like if it was a different season, if it was the summertime, right? Yeah, uh, I would have bugged out at it. Now, yeah, I would t I would have taken that pizza and wings and thrown it in the garbage, right? Yeah. But basically, because the outside is below freezing, it's basically a refrigerator. Yep. Uh, I was like, no, fuck it, it's mine. Yep. Um, so, I, I'm I'm upstairs and I'm trying to think like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Because I've had skip the dishes orders, uh, mess up for whatever reason, and what I what I think happened was is for whatever reason, the person who ordered the food. Uh, didn't get the notification. They fell asleep, whatever, right? The person who dropped off the food tried to contact the person who ordered but couldn't get through, left the food on the stairs yeah. outside. Yeah. So that would mean that, first of all, Skip the Dishes would have already paid the pizza company. The person, if they would have complained, saying, I never got my food, would have gotten reimbursed. The only person mm -hmm. that's really taken the hit here is the driver maybe 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 or um somebody put an order in and didn't have the right address in 
you know, say if, say if they're at somebody else's house and they order and it's like, oh shit, they sent it to their place or whatever, like screwed up address. That That's oh, possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They didn't change the address on the app. So yeah. they're at a friend's place like, where the fuck's my dinner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they'd still get their food back. So really, there's no no loss here. Because, I mean, the d- yeah. delivery driver is going to get paid when he goes out again. Yeah. You get free food. Yeah. No. Nah, the restaurant got paid. Exactly. They would have got paid and twice. The- so. And chances are the person who ordered the food uh, would have gotten reimbursed at, at some point in time anyway. Exactly. Now, here's, here's the question. like, oh, well, why don't you just, like, skip the dishes. There was a tag on the mm-hmm. bag. Why don't you just take it to the address? There was no address. Really? Yeah. I, there usually was, isn't, right? Like, because, like, they just get a, get a notification on their phone for where they picked that shit up, I thought. Yeah. I would think. So if you were to order something from this specific uh, pizza company, uh, fuck it. And like the, 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 nothing against them. The pizza and the wings were delicious. It was Panago. Right. So if you were to order something delivery from Panago, then a sticker would be put onto the box with like, you know, in this case, it would have been like one of two yeah, yeah. because the, the wings would have been two of two and the address and the name and the contact information would have been on that sticker. But this was a skip to dishes, so essentially it was a pickup, not a delivery, according to Panago. Yeah. So there was no sticker. Oh, yeah. Whatever. You got free food <laughs> out of the deal. That's all that matters. Some people are So stupid. I brought... Go ahead. Some people are stupid. Yeah. So yeah. I brought this up as a point of uh, conversation at the radio station, and then someone reminded me of a story that happened quite a few years ago of a gentleman who was walking through... Uh, a a city park in the lower mainland of British Columbia and stumbled across a duffel bag with a million dollars cash. What he did, he did the smart thing. And the only reason we know about the story is because he did the smart thing. He took it to the RCMP and said, I found this. Yeah. Right. Which is, it sounds crazy, but there was there was a there was a lot of things going on here, and the gentleman was smart enough to realize that there was a chance that he could keep this. So when something like this is found and given into the RCMP, what they will do is they will put out a notification saying like such and such was found. Yeah. If you can provide any proof that this is yours, you can come and claim it. Now chances are a million dollars in cash in a duffel bag in a city park. Probably not the most cleanest of money. No. No. But there is a time limit on these sort of things. Three years. Okay. And if no one claims an item within three years, it goes back to the person who found it. Really? So the gentleman who found his duffel bag had to wait and cross his fingers and hope for three years. And sure as shit, three years later, the RCMP went, well... Here you go. Here's your million dollars. <laughs> Fuck. I, I get it. You know, like, it's probably the smart thing to do, like, not to, yeah. to just keep it. I mean, at least that way, when you start spending that money it's no later in question. Exactly. It's like, it's legit. It came from a legit source. But, man, you know, at three years, he's just thinking, it's like, Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> fucking bag of money. But guaranteed, like, that somebody got murdered over that money. Or oh, yeah. drug money or whatever. But yeah. if it sat in the possession of the RCMP for three years, eh, it's clean now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Definitely. Kind of. Yeah. But yeah. And and like the guy was playing the long game. The guy who found this money was playing the long game because how do you claim that? How do you prove a duffel bag in a city park full of full of money? How do you prove I, that that's yours? And how do you prove that it's not dirty? <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? Like he probably sat at home or and, and thought about this before he brought it in. You you would yeah. almost have to. Yeah. Like you, but you're right though. Like h- how do you prove it? Yeah. You know, like especially if it is drug money or you know like some sort of illicit money. It's like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That like the guy who found it. I mean, kudos to him. Fucking, he played the long game and he won. But three years, man. That's. I mean, it w- would be fine if you could if you you had an agreement with the RCMP it's like okay can you put this in the bank so like <laughs> there's there's interest on it at least yeah you, you yeah, know yeah. like you yeah. get a couple hundred grand out of it I mean you know that much but whatever 
Yeah. <sighs> That's tough. It's tough. I, I, I'd, I'd be mad. It, well, I wouldn't be I, mad, I'm, but be like, man, I want that money. Well, it's essentially someone giving you a lottery ticket, right? Yeah. Saying like, there is, there is a very strong chance that yeah. this will win within the next couple of years. Right? Fuck me. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I just want somebody to give me a million dollars. <laughs> just, just, just give me, give me. Give Never me mind three years, just now. Just, just, just now. Knock yeah. on my door, please. Thank you. You know what? If yeah. somebody gave me a hundred grand right now, that'd be perfect. Oh, yeah. D -d -d I, perfect. I agree. You wanted to talk about the Windsor Hum, and I know yeah. a little bit about this, but not like what what were, what were you thinking there? Okay, so um, what what do you know about the Windsor Hum? All I know is that there's a weird humming that everybody can hear in the city of Windsor, Ontario. Yeah, yeah. And so, they've, they've they've tried to figure it out, but they haven't yet. They have. Oh, okay. <laughs> they okay. have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Windsor, like, there's a lot of mining that happens around there, I believe. Um, yeah. manufacturing is that what it and there's there, there's a it's a pretty industrial yeah. uh city the way that I understand it yep. so they so they figured it out now finally they figured it out yes so for to catch everyone else up uh Windsor Ontario there's this small community and the, there's just been this weird hum that some people in the residents can hear some can't some of them hear it uh more often than not, uh, sometimes like there's actually you could like vibration that oh. comes through the floor, the walls, like things, things are happening, but no one can really understand what the hell's going on. And this has been happening for years. Yeah. And they couldn't figure it out for the longest time. Then COVID hit, the lockdown hit. Yeah. And everything shut down and the Windsor hum disappeared. Really? Yeah. So, at that point in time, like there, there was a lot of people going back and forth, going like in this area, going like, there's nothing like there's nothing here. There never was anything like that. But in the meantime, like some people who have been bothered by this, like some of them physically, mentally bothered by this yeah. hum and this vibration, whatever, finally getting some peace and finally getting some relaxation, or whatever. So then the lockdown happened, the hum disappeared, and then the lockdown was lifted. Yeah. And then people started finally going to work and they finally figured it out. A mile away across the lake is a steel mill. Okay. The burner for that steel mill was creating the hum over a mile away oh, and yeah. affecting Windsor, Ontario. That's crazy. <laughs> so, so like, did, like a, so a burner, like did they adjust it then that it's not making the hum anymore or what? Well, apparently now that they've figured it out, they're they're we're trying to work with the the people, the company who owns the steel mill, to be like, can we resolve this? Because now we know yeah. where it's coming from, and it's clearly affecting this like our community. Yeah, right, a mile away across a lake. But how didn't they know this before? Right, like they have ways to measure, you know, where where sounds coming from, and you know, sound is a weird thing to to try and measure sometimes. But like, you, they should like I like I remember hearing about this years ago. Mm -hmm. that like i don't know i don't get it i mean the, it's good that they figured it out but at the same time it's like come on guys like fucking it's not that hard to figure out well yeah. the only thing that really comes to mind for for this explanation is is money yeah uh, and, and and the movie uh aaron brockovich okay right the companies will deny things to their grave as long as they are still making money and as long as there's still doubt and, you know, a way to just kind of disprove or shove sh shove things off mm -hmm. until something comes to light and si until something is is evident or proven, they will continue to just move on with business as usual. Yeah. Now, now that they know, like, oh, fuck, it's the steel mill. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, the community of Windsor and the surrounding communities and the, and the local municipalities are trying to work with the steel mill to like, can we insulate it? Can we do something about yeah. this? Because the steel mill, like, it shut down because of the lockdown. Everything shut down. Yeah. But when it was up and running, it was running twenty four seven. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. I know. So, per I know personally how loud mills can be. I mean, I work. Oh by, yeah. I work by one, not in one. I hate it. Yeah. I hate working in the mill. It's terrible. 
I was not a fan either. So. No, no. Yeah. But yeah, I, f- I found that incredibly interesting. Right? It took the lockdown. It took everything to just go silent. That's nuts, though. To figure it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But and like for the, the amount of people that it, it did affect, too, like it's weird, you know, like. Like I like I always thought like it had to like because I remember reading about it. And it's like it had to be like, like some electric motor or something or you know like underground mining equipment or or something like that. I mean, I again I know personally like how sound travels underground too is really weird. Like yeah, there's spots like if, where at where I work, it's like I can hear stuff from miles away if a machine's mm-hmm. running, just because you can feel the the vibration in the ground. It's weird, right? Yeah. It's very dark too. It's uh, yeah. It, 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 that story just kind of blew me away. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the Windsor hum. It has been solved. It's a fucking steel mill <laughs> from across the lake. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But these some some of these poor residents were just like they they were going nuts because like uh, some people couldn't hear it, some people couldn't feel it, but then like they would get home and like it would feel as though like their their table or their floor or just, their chair was just shaking i couldn't imagine like just yeah like walking around and just like feeling like that vibration and other people being like not fucking like not paying attention to it you know like you're not hearing it um yeah yeah i don't i don't know i don't know i'm just trying to look at something else like anything else that, that happened today that we can talk about so um let me think here <clears throat> so we talked about Kid Rock, Monster Truck. We talked about yeah. <laughs> the, the non-resurrection of JFK Jr. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, terrible. Talked about GTA and video games and subsequent uh, money gouging uh, from the industry. Yeah. The Windsor Hum, Finders Keepers. Talked about books. There's So on, on the topic of books, like there is something that I'd like to put out there. Like it is possible for you and I to finish a book a month. Easy. Easily. Oh, easy. Some, some books like dark tower, uh, not so easy, but still we could essentially do it off. Yeah. It'd be, would it be interesting to go over like basically a book a month, kind of like a lost signals book club type thing. Can and we, can we if, meet and have tea and, you know, eat little sandwiches too. I love Fig Newtons. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, so it'd be like, would it be interesting to to do something like that? Because I'd be willing to hammer through a book. Like I'm currently going through Dave Grohl's Storyteller right now, and it, yeah. I love it. And I, I'm looking forward to uh, talking and sharing about it. Mm-hmm. And I know that you were saying like, I want someone else to fucking read The Dark Tower. I know. I want to talk about it. <laughs> I know like two people that have read that book. One is Tyler, but he's not, mm-hmm. he hasn't finished the entire book. And then a buddy I work with, he's, he's read it and, but I never see him to talk about it. So it's like, mm-hmm. but uh, no, I mean, it, if, if that's something that other people would be interested in, I mean, I would definitely do something like that. Mm. But I mean, what, what would a good book to start with? What would be a good the dark book? tower? <laughs> um, well, I mean, like once I'm finished with Dave Grohl's Storyteller, uh, I, I I am gonna move on to the Dark Tower. Yeah, uh, I I completely finished the series of Throne of Glass, which I think was an incredible, incredible story yeah. from start to finish. It, it that that series took so many different directions I wasn't expecting, and it was awesome. Um, I don't know what would be a good book to start with. Because we've already covered Ready Player One, Ugh. Ready Player Two. Ugh. I've read the offshoot or spiritual successor or middle man or whatever of Armada. I have that book. I just never listened to it because I had it on. I warned. Book. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let's let's circle back to this. Like we can uh, find something that that you know, like that you and I can both read, or you know, get get some other people to read too, and then we can all talk about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you want any, or if you want to suggest a book or a series or something, you can email us at info at lost signals.ca or check yeah. the website, which I still haven't updated cause I've been busy as fuck lately. But, um, yeah, actually, yeah. Best place to get a hold of us is probably the Facebook page. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Or I mean the info at lost signals.ca. 
Um, you wanted to talk about Travis Scott. Oh, that shit still. Okay, yeah, here's a continuation from last episode. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the, the whole Astro World thing um, blew up this week or over the last week. Um, yeah. So another person died. So the death toll is like nine people at least. Last I heard, yeah. anyways. And um, so Travis Scott, Drake, Apple Music, Live Nation, Ticketmaster, all of these assholes are getting sued for like $2.5 billion because of what there happened. There's a lot that. of things that went wrong. Yeah. 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 So yeah. hopefully that's the end of what we see of that fucking moron, like that instigating fuck. Like, I don't. I, 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 it pisses me off, you know, like, cause that's not the way that, that concerts are supposed to happen. Right. You no. know, like concerts are supposed to be fun, you know, have a good time. People aren't supposed to die at concerts. God, no. Jeez, Especially it's, kids. It's, right. Like, a, like, like kids yeah. died at this fucking concert. So it's just not, it's not good. So no. hopefully, hopefully they get taken to the cleaners, especially Apple music. Oh yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. I and, agree. Yeah. And the fact that like, like that Travis Scott, like he was, he got like Fortnite money because he did. Yes. Yeah. Like, like fuck them too. Fuck Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe that's just the old man in me coming out. Like, just, no, 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 no. Um, so like you, you and I have mutual, uh, online gamer friends mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, they're, they, they young, younger than you, younger than I, uh, always try to lean towards Fortnite. I, I, I took it upon myself to physically remove Fortnite from my video game library like over a month ago because like, no, I'm fucking done with this shit. My nine-year-old uh, nephew plays Fortnite. Delta Sleep. I, 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 I picked it up. I picked it up and I played it for a little while because they brought in Deadpool and like, all right, you, you got my attention. Yeah. Uh, but then after that, like I, I started to feel as though like the people who complain about Facebook, like, ah, I hate it. I hate the new version. The old version was better because they, <laughs> yeah. they kept changing things within the game and, you know, Loki. Uh, whatever. So something else I actually recently removed from my computer was, like, you and I stream games. Okay. You use XSplit. I yeah. was using Streamlabs for a while. And I, I removed Streamlabs, OBS. Yeah. Because of everything that's come to light and just a shitty way of them going about things, which is basically they were copying other people's homework and oh, not doing yeah, a very yeah. good job of covering it up. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why, like, why you 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 were gonna switch from from Streamlabs to to, yeah. to this. Um, so I I personally use XSplit and it's okay. I lately I've been having issues, but uh, that's probably on my own end i got a lot of shit installed on this computer so it's yeah. i think it's time for a clean sweep and delete everything sort of deal yeah but why well, uh, yeah go ahead no it's like i i've been having issues lately so i was uh i was using streamlabs yeah for a while and that was after i moved from obs to streamlabs obs because the name suggested like oh it is obs only it's a different interface yeah turns out that no they just stole and tried to copyright obs the people behind streamlabs but it's open so, source like you can't copyright open <laughs> yeah, source yeah. shit that's exactly it's right in the name yes it's open source so, broadcasting software that's obs yeah. like it's so so but but i was using streamlabs for a while because like they had a lot of really cool buttons and features yeah. and, and plugins and all that stuff and i was utilizing a lot of it and then everything that came to light where it was like Oh no, they tried to steal the the namesake from the original OBS and they tried to steal this whole marketing uh, plan that they have from a different Oh, it's online, greasy. Like it, and and like it, like the 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 other company it was, it's I don't think it's called Lightroom, it's called some something else, but um they they did like an online side by side of like this is what Streamlabs OBS is saying. This is what we've been saying for years. Even the reviews and the comments from the users are fucking identical. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> like, holy Christ. Yeah. So, so I removed uh, yeah. Streamlabs. It's and I, 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 I'm giving uh, XSplit a shot. But I think if XSplit doesn't work well for me, I think I might just go back 
to OBS. It's fair. Because it, it OBS worked. And the only reason I went to Streamlabs OBS, or turns out they shouldn't have been using OBS to begin with, yeah. was because it, it seemed more user friendly. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, it, it is it's pretty easy to use. Like and you'll you'll find yeah. that with XSplit too. It's pretty uh pretty intuitive. The only problem with XSplit is that you gotta pay for it. I think it, I pay like 30 bucks every three months, which is it's not that bad. But yeah, it'd be nice if, they would, if there was some sort of kickback well, from it. Well, I mean, I gave you three months for free, so stop. Yes, you did, and yes. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. No, when, I bought, <laughs> yeah, when I bought my new webcam, I got to three months free. So yeah. what are you listening to this week? So I have some fun, uh, speaking of kickbacks, I have some fun, a uh, couple of fun songs that were covers. Okay. And uh, it's because, uh, you know, I, I have my Spotify list and I, every once in a while I'll turn on like, yeah, okay, suggest something else. Yeah. And um, do you remember Cameo? Like the band? Yes. Like what Like what up or Word Up? Word Up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what up. Do you know Do you know Korn covered that tune? <laughs> yeah, I did. It's, it's, yeah, it's, so it's, that's it's, my first it's, one. <laughs> it's Korn, Word Up. That was big. That was big on Sirius XM back in the in the mid two thousands when I was first got Sirius. They played the shit out of that song. I'm actually tired. <laughs> I'll add it, but I'm just tired of it. It's like because I, I heard it too many times. Yeah. But, well, see, one thing I can appreciate from Corn is that they they aren't afraid to step out of their yeah, yeah their usual realm, right? Yeah. But they've done some other covers too, I think. But pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. My first song for this week is. Uh, Hey man, nice shot by Filter. Oh, great tune! Yeah, I know, and uh, we got a visitor apparently. Hello, dog. Yes, see that apparently. Yeah, um, yeah. I know we, my one of my bands used to cover that song, and then uh, the bass line. It's it's not a hard bass line, but uh, you play the same thing over and over again, so you start getting cramped. So I think uh, I, I yeah, was. Yeah. We were playing a show one night. It was like we played for like an hour and a half, and like my right hand, like my picking hand. It just, it started like getting all gnarled up. And like by the end of it, like I couldn't move my fucking fingers. Just, just a claw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's great. Great fun. Yeah. Great fun. What's your, uh, what's your second one there? Uh, another cover. A uh, huge fan of uh, the movie Demolition Man. Oh, yeah. yeah but it, this yeah. is kind of a, an offshoot because Demolition Man made me think of Sting and Demolition Man. But, I realized that the song I was thinking about was not Demolition Man. It was Missionary Man by Annie Lennox. And Ghost did a version of Missionary Man. Hmm. It's, it's, it's a harder version. It is definitely a ghost. Like, it is within their camp. Yeah. They have a certain sound to them. But they stayed true to the original tune, Missionary Man, and... Hmm. Love it, absolutely love it. I'll have to check it out. I, I, I don't. I'm not familiar with that song. Like, I'm not familiar with the name of that song. I should say because I'm probably familiar with the song. Just yeah, yeah. No, I'll definitely have a check. And at I'll, this point in time, I'm, I am, I am pushing hard to try to get an interview with Ghost. So. That'd be, yeah, that'd, that'd be good times. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Again, these will all be up on the Found Signals playlist on Spotify. I'll have a link down there in the description. My yeah. second one for this week is uh, by band called uh spirit box they're like uh what's the best way to describe them not not post hardcore they're i don't know they're metal band out of victoria uh they have a, a girl singer and she's great and she 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 sings very well but she can also scream very well uh the song is called uh sun killer and i've had it in my head for like weeks now like i'll be really? at work and i'm start humming the, the tune to it so it's just, um yeah check it out it's great track um you're, you're saying that the the lead singer for this band was akin to the lead singer for uh, ginger yeah it's it's a similar vein like like can sing very well and then can f fucking scream like it's like a deep like guttural violent scream it's like it's right up my alley so uh yeah so you guys have to check that out done on the old playlist there yeah yeah. Other than that, if you would like to add some songs, just yes. su su suggest some songs to Found Signals. Uh, how could someone do that? Uh, message us on Facebook, 
or, or text me if you have my phone number. <laughs> or Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll probably get a text tomorrow about this. Uh, mm. Or info at lostsignals.ca. Or yeah, we're available on uh, Twitter. Yes, kind of sometimes. Yes. If I remember the password. Well. What's the Twitter handle? handle uh, for this at show? Lost Signals Pod. Yes, and if you if all else fails, you could always find me all over social media yeah. at the Media Jack. Yes, and at some point I'll probably open the Discord up specifically for like I just have a separate version of it. They got fans side. Well, I, I'm looking at at the Discord for Lost Signals, and like there's there's no harm in in just opening it up for certain channels and then locking down. Yep other channels like the podcasting channel which is where you and i are working off yeah. of right now like that's locked down to, to Just, you and i yeah right? yeah so. yeah they, yeah we yeah we'll, we'll end up doing that we can have like text channels and shit open but we'll uh I'll which, look, I'll which look we already it. do because uh, we have we have uh tyler and chris and uh lots of memes so <laughs> some <laughs> vulgarity usually yes usually and i've had some what? beers and it's three o'clock in the morning and what else would you expect from this show nothing I don't, I don't, I don't expect, expect anything of us really. It's kind of like it's a random mumbling half the time. Yes. But yes. Anyways, this has been episode 26 of Lost Signals. I'm Daryl. I'm JD. Bye. Take care. <laughs> I like fucking with your head sometimes. It's great. <laughs>